Welcome, Welcome back, back Pop, Pop Stars. Stars. I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. And this is the last episode of the second half of the third season of Bridgerton. You look like you're about to cry. I am. <laughs> Obviously, the new showrunner had a lot going into this. I think they've done pretty well so far. There are things that are a little different the same way you would notice if Cressida took over yeah. Lady Whistledown. However, that doesn't mean I haven't enjoyed this so far. I am very excited to see what this last episode has in store for us. I I completely forgot the freaking Mondrix. Somebody said their name very honestly. Yeah, what the so, hell? We got a lot in store for us. We're excited. Benji, should we just get right into it? Yeah, let's hop in. Let's Three, three two, two, one, engage. engage. Come on, babe. Come to bed. Ugh. Moody, moody Bridgertons. Yeah, we were so close to being happy. Good morning, Mama. Ah! Cressida, what are you doing here? I'm simply paying a visit to the esteemed Lady Whistledown. I know your secret. Jesus, everyone knows now. Secret? What are you saying about? Whatever you think you know, you're incorrect. No one would ever suspect you, as Oof. you are so very forgettable. Oof. You are going to pay me double the Queen's reward, so that I might set up my life abroad, or I will tell everyone of your true identity. I'm going to tell them myself. No one will believe you. Miss Cowper. Penelope and I were just discussing whether or not I'm to be believed. She is the true Lady Whistledown. My mom. Mom's about to start working. Or I will reveal the truth to the entire town. I don't know if you want to make Portia your enemy. Yeah, Portia's always working on something. Tell me it is not true. Cressida does not lie. I have fought with every tool at my disposal to claw us out of ruin time and time again, and yet, under my own <laughs> roof, on, my own blood has been sowing the seeds of our ruin all along. How could you, Penelope? Does your husband know? Oh. At least there's that. He cannot know about this latest scandal. You'd have grounds for an annulment even the most sanctimonious bishop would grant. Well, I do not wish to lie anymore. You must tell Colin. And she's just like, oh, God. Oh, and that too. And there was just this. Ah, oh, god oh, damn my god. it, Penelope. So many things. I am closer to finding Lady Whistledown than ever before. Those look like fun pieces to play. Mm -hmm. And what will you do once you have uncovered her? I will have won, of course. And then? What are you trying to say, Lady Danbury? You're not thinking ahead. Do you in fact know who Whistledown is? Has she known this whole time? I am onto something, aren't I? Huh. I am simply saying that perhaps Lady Whistledown is not trying to beat you at your own game. Perhaps she is merely trying to stay in the game as a vulnerable player. A feeling perhaps you can relate to. Perhaps a long time ago. Perhaps again next year. Eight episodes? Six, maybe? <laughs> I'll take anything. I'll take anything, please! Don't leave us! You could have had me in checkmate, Lady Danbury. But I want to play a game. I realize that. But then the game would be over early. And what fun is there in that? Yeah. <laughs> Where's your husband? They were never married, Benji. I know, but they, for as legal as it could have been for the time. Because Philippa and I are going to host a ball. <gasps> nice. Centered on the color purple. And orange. Oh my God. And we can have bugs. <laughs> and, uh, I want to see their ball. Discuss a budget. <laughs> of course. No, budgets are it for losers. Very, very large. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh no, we're going to have to do ledgers and things and be busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Just to pay for this. Uh, John and I are going to apply for a special license so that we can have a simple, small ceremony at home, after which we shall retreat to John's family estate. Uh, just quick, quick in, quick out. I assume your Oxfordshire estate cannot be more than a day's ride away. Oh, how far are you taking me? We should like to take residence at John's primary estate. In Scotland? That must be at least a fortnight's ride away. Oh, it is why I so enjoy staying there. The distance creates a true sense of peace. You cannot wait for the quiet. <laughs> oh. She's like, oh, did I really never know my daughter? <laughs> She's like, you really didn't want to hang out with us. Had you read anything from people about? Yeah, well, we're not talking about anything. Okay. I don't know, no, but I have an inkling. You have an inkling too. But I don't know which inkling you have. I don't have. care. Let's not talk about it. Okay. You know the family will be fine. Her Majesty accused me of being Whistledown once and I survived it. Because of Whistledown. You know you will eventually resolve things with- Penelope. Exactly. What are you doing here? She knows, Colin, you don't have to hide your ire. 
should not be having this discussion in front of Miss Bridgerton. She knows. She knows everything as well. Wonderful. But so glad to see the whole of Mayfair seem to know before your own mother. <laughs> and why do we all suddenly know that we know? Because Cressida discovered my secret. Oh. She demands £10,000 to keep it. And I will not stand for anyone blackmailing my wife. I can pay her. Yeah, I'm rich, guys. You have made that higher sum. Slightly more, if we're being honest. <laughs> Wait, they didn't know she was making money? Time. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not paying Miss Carper a single penny. <laughs> Please, would you just let me? I will not cower to Miss Carper. I will call upon oh my God. her to speak up. I like that up. we have a whistle down team. Action is ruinous for speak everyone up. involved. Yeah. It is the only way forward. Or listen. Or reveal yourself. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, I already saw challengers. <laughs> Let's go. Lady Carper. You have been cruel to my my wife. Are we just gonna offer her friendship? I have known what it's like to be truly alone when I'm off on my travels. Poor Mr. Bridgerton, traveling the continent, seeing the great sights of the world, as only a man can do. You sound like Eloise. And Penelope. <laughs> but this last year, I found myself yearning to hear word from home. It felt as if everyone was busy with their lives without a need for me in them. So I attempted to harden myself. It is not a path I would recommend. So I'd like to hear that earlier. <laughs> I have come for your mercy. I can understand why you might hate Whistledown. Her words are cutting and sharp. But damn if they're not clever as hell. <laughs> Her readers are willing to pay to read about themselves week after week. You do not sound as if you hate Whistledown. You sound as if you are jealous of her. Oh. Oh. Damn. Damn, Cressida's. Ooh. We need Cressida in the group to call people out. <laughs> there is Whistledown, and then there is Penelope, who has experienced a kind of loneliness surely neither of us can fathom. It is not excuse what she has done. A little bit does. But perhaps it is understandable that at times her column has reflected the cruelty around her. A cruelty, I imagine, you have felt too. A cruelty you've dished out. And she did not savage you in her latest column. If even Penelope can find grace for you, do you not see that the Ton will forgive you? Surely your father will welcome you back to London when all this passes. A family's love is enduring. I want money. Mm -hmm. oh, God damn it. You take for granted that you will always have your family's support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are not the same, Mr. Bridgerton. Yep. And we never will be. You have no proof. I have a printer's apprentice who is willing to corroborate the truth. All for the pleasure of meeting the real Lady Whistledown. An apprentice? You have until the Dankworth Finch Ball to pay me. Oof. In fact, reflecting upon the lack of support I shall have in the future, perhaps I am not asking for enough from you. Oh, I want 10k from each of y'all. Cressida has her reasonable moments. I just hope today is one. Nope. Did you truly like her? Did you befriend her simply to punish me? A little bit of both. I'm not so petty. I genuinely enjoyed her at the start. Yeah, you guys need to go off her friendship and support. Perhaps the very initial befriending was tinged with just the tiniest bit of petty. <laughs> was it? Was it the tiniest <laughs> bit? It was 100%. Tell me what you were reading. Oh. Ow. <clears throat> friendship she said, is the best I'll listen thing to you. ever. Thank God people entered the room. <laughs> I'm afraid I have failed. She wants double now. She already asked for double. thousand pounds. Why do you not have that son? There is more. She requires you use your column to restore her reputation. She made it, it worse. Seems I have made everything worse. Oh, this is my fault entirely. <laughs> yeah. What do we do now? Kill her. It would have been better to just pay her. I don't know, man. I have the funds. I will have to ask Benedict to sign off on such a large expenditure. Or Benji, you know, I was really enjoying you, Cressida, but you overstepped. I'm sorry. We gotta murder you. <laughs> I suppose I should not have expected any more from Cressida. You know, maybe if you would have just freaking listened to me, but since nobody ever likes to listen to old Penelope over nobody here. Nobody wants to listen to old Even Penelope. Even though old Penelope's the one who's made a whole empire for herself. <laughs> yeah, but nobody wants to listen. And honestly, was it that big of a secret if you guys had just been paying attention? <laughs> I'm just going to keep playing the Challenger soundtrack every time this comes up. <laughs> He discovered bisexuality and was like, deuces, y'all. I'm going to be busy for the next few weeks. Francesca seems to have found an inner courage. She has. Where the hell? And now she is using it Did to get as far from? away from her mother as possible. You will have my support in Francesca's absence. Thanks. And also my brother's, if you wish it. Uh, we do not have to discuss that. But perhaps we should. Hmm. She's just still not ready. God. And uh, if you were to give your blessing. We're both adults. But you're my friend. You may do as you wish. It is not as though I asked your permission. 
Oh, she's going to tell her? I, they know. They had a quiet oh, understanding. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's suddenly going down rather smoothly. You know. Yeah. Yes. I know my father was a good man and that you have been a very good friend. And that is all I need to know. <laughs> Why did the Danbury scenes just get me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. And my brother is a good man. And you are a good and friend. And you are a good friend. That's all I need to know. <laughs> that is all I need to know as well. <laughs> oh. But if he sours things between the two of you, I will pick you over him. I yes. shall not lose you for his <laughs> folly. There is nary a man alive with such power. <laughs> oh, friendship. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the hat. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. You imagine the three of us at a ball. How would we explain ourselves to, say, the Dowager Lady Cheltenham? <laughs> Tell them to watch Challengers. Mm. As if you'd be caught dead at a ball. <laughs> True. And love for a good party. Especially party of three. Tell like, oh, he's that. getting attached. We went full throuple real quick. Well, man, they came in strong. Well... They were like, you asked, we heard you. They've been in bed for like, what, three I or four <laughs> scenes? <laughs> oh, Colin. <laughs> it's like, how can I resist them bosoms and pouty lips? <laughs> and that that exposed shoulder. Come on, we're not mad anymore. I only need a blanket for the city. How about I lay on top of you instead? Ah, so close. You'll get him next time. God, it wouldn't be a Bridgerton show if it wasn't two people who clearly love each other. Okay. F***ing it up for themselves. Right. I'm going to have tea with my mother before your sister's wedding. You're reading two weddings this season? Two weddings? Is that all his letters to her? I don't know. Oh, she wrote to him. She just didn't send them. I say kill Cressida. <laughs> Fall back in love with your wife and oh, call it a call it a season. Kill Cressida. No. I cannot push him off any longer, Mom. Show him in, I suppose. Kill him too. Yeah, he can go. We don't care about him. Oh, uh, why don't we look upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> Lady Featherington, Walter, Walter Dundas Square. I do remember. In fact, Aunt Petunia's neighbors in Cornwall seem to agree with me. She was in a perpetual state of poverty. Who's to say? Keep eating that cookie. I already poisoned it. Living frugally so that others might one day benefit. Her creditors. Yes, she also didn't pay them either, and I know your funds came from Jack Featherington's fraudulent activities. And I believe the Crown will agree the Featherington title should be transferred to a more scrupulous family. Good day. Do you want to see the top of this staircase? Uh, oh. Is it true? Is your money the money Cousin Jack took from the ton? Looks like you're not the only one in the family who's keeping secrets. What you and I have done is not different. What you have done is a crime. <laughs> I did what I had to do to protect this family. Who were you protecting with your collar? Myself. Oh, from whom? From you. From you. I see. Uh, you know, it's no easy thing being a parent. How was I to raise daughters when all my life I was taught that all power comes from a man? What you have done, you have done entirely on your own. Amazing. It is a great regret of mine that I've overlooked you for so long. We have done the best we can with the opportunities that society has afforded us. Perhaps there were other ways, but at the time I, I could not see them. <laughs> See, fair. <laughs> so I can't get mad. What the lady Whistledown write about our disgrace when I am exposed? Well, if Whistledown reveals herself, she might be able to shield it and go, actually, this is the money I earned that we've been using. But we did find Jack's money and we're returning it to everyone. Or, I don't give a fuck about your money. You shouldn't have been giving it to Uncle Jack in the first place. <laughs> that is a great power. What a thing you have made for yourself. Thank you. Well, perhaps we are more alike than I care to admit. If we survive this round, we must do better. Know, Let's right? kill that man. How <laughs> far can you get? It up. Make it look like a. Or no, here's what we they do. Killed here's each the other. Way. We'll kill the actual male threat in front of Cressida and then look at her and say, <laughs> You're next. 
Then we don't have to kill Cressida. There you go. There we go. We knew we wanted to keep her alive. Easy. Think like a man. <laughs> Terrible. I think like a murderer. No, the women will come up with a much more elegant plan right. than we could. You're upset about me leaving. No, of course not. I did not expect you to settle quite so far away. <laughs> it is difficult to hear my own voice amidst the noise of this house. <laughs> Whereas with John, I hear myself. Oh. More and more. The silence and beauty of Scotland will allow me to know myself better so that you can all know me better as well. Because I want nothing more than to be close. You know, when I first met your father, I could barely speak my own name. I was so taken by him. I thought that that is what love must be like for everyone. But you have shown me that there is another way. There is beauty in the slow approach. I mean, were they slow? They weren't that slow. Colin and Penelope were slow. That's very well in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> How are they going to deal with Cressida and that I other dick? I take the... She might need to reveal. Wow. To have and to hold. They should be vampires. Forward. I just, whenever people are standing all so regally, I'm like, they need to be vampires. I take thee to be my lawful husband. For richer and for Remember poor, when we did this a week in ago? In sickness and in health. We got a kiss in front of us. Was she happy with that? Yeah, that's as, that's how she shows emotion. Okay. Is the queen gonna interrupt this wedding as well? <laughs> Save a dance for me at the next ball. That that would be most adequate. <laughs> oh. well, dating's interesting. Very good. <laughs> to my beautiful wife, I have not the words to express my adoration. <laughs> I shall offer a few humble words to your family, especially your mother. Hmm. Lady Bridgerton, I see your openness reflected in Benedict, your charm in Colin. Oh, wow. Your wisdom in Eloise. You see, he's been and watching. And brightness you have instilled in both Gregory and Hyacinth. Who? In this moment, when I feel so much gratitude for my new wife, I feel it in equal measure for... My new family? The remarkable woman who raised her. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. Well, thank you. When he gets a second to plan what he's going to say... Whew. <laughs> We're so rich. <laughs> God, we're so rich and attractive and great at finding true love because we have the time and money and energy to do so. Yep, that's that's what this show. Don't is. think about the poor people. That's why we love it. May I speak with you? I cannot ask you to lie to your brother on my behalf. I will not let my lies spread any further than they already have. Then how am I meant to help you? By loving me. You've taught me to hold my own. You have shown me I'm capable of pleasure beyond imagination, but. It is not what you do for me that makes me love you. It is your kindness. And you haven't been kind to me. Empathy. He has, but even though he's mad, he still shows up for her, though. Just being you is enough. I do not need you to save me. I just need you to stand by me. To kiss me. Yeah. I want very much to do those things. Well, what is the restraint to you? Miss Cowper still hangs over us. And as long as you live with this secret, there will always be something between us. I know. Perhaps that is the key. What are you gonna do, girl? Just gonna do what I said. A letter for you, your majesty. Huh. Just write directly to the queen? Oh, shit. Like I'm gonna bargain for amnesty. Colin! Oh, what's the plan? I have received a letter from your wife. We had better sit. Oh my goodness. Who are you giving that money to? So she must know that's Lady Whistledown now as well. I mean, there's no way that woman's walking through the halls and doesn't know the secrets. <laughs> I know, right? As soon as Portia knows, she knows. <laughs> they all talk so loud. Are they going to give money to Cressida either way? I'd be like, because I'm not a piece of shit, here's five pounds. It's like, Get the here's fuck here. five grand. You need it. Because save yourself. <laughs> Has he left this bed? I mean, uh, he did. Right. He was at the wedding. Mm. Is uh, Paul meeting us? I believe he is with someone else tonight. Should we invite someone else to join us then? Oh, oh my goodness. He's, He's like, we've unlocked nice something. Mm -hmm. I just want you. Uh, mm -hmm. I was hoping it could just be the two of us tonight. Oh. Ah, uh, boring! I am beginning to care for you, Benedict. Mm. With more than friends. I have never met someone so similar to me. And well, how are you going to screw this up, Benedict? I'm beginning What's to happening? wonder what if we did allow things to grow more serious between us. You are extraordinary. Uh-oh. Right? But... I'm not certain that Sirius is what I want. Oh, Benedict. What has happened ever since I met you has made me realize how good it feels to be free. 
Until next season, potentially. <laughs> You've opened my world. And I'm not ready to close it again just now. Mm. I support your wishes. Ha! <laughs> but I must say, even merriment can grow tiring. And for the fans, it kind of has, hasn't it? <laughs> How good for once to want to commit to someone. Well, we'll see what the writers say next right. season. Thank you for reminding me that is possible. Oh. Very mature breakup. Oh, fancy finding you here. Wow. Look at us. Right back to the gay swings. <laughs> we're gay, aren't we? <laughs> one of us is bi and we're not sure about the other one yet. I've spent nearly all of my life in either Mayfair or at Albury Hall. If I'm going to attempt to make change in the world, certainly I shall need to see some of it first. Ooh. Meet people who are not my family. Are they both going to go off and travel? Are we going to get a side story with them too? I thought you were more interested in fitting in this year. Mm, I think mm -hmm. I'm properly done with all of that. There she is. She said, that story arc is done. <laughs> that was just to delay my season, obviously. <laughs> Duh. It feels right now that the next thing I might learn may change me entirely. And will that possibly be next season? I agree profoundly with everything you've said, <laughs> as I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. We should not let so long pass again between us. Before we meet on these swings to be entirely confused together. <laughs> Yeah, they're each other's yeah. favorites. I was like, I feel like they're each other's favorites. I'm certain Varley has done her utmost. It's gonna be awesome. Hope it's as awesome as those dresses. <gasps> oh, holy shit! Whoa. They don't have that money. <laughs> they figured it out. You got the ostrich feathers, Philippa. Oh, there yeah. is a one, two, Eight-piece ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> it's so baroque. We got. <laughs> I love how just garish they are. Yes, I was like, this is gonna make for a great ball. Putting them two together. Thank you. That must have been you who paid for all of this. Oh. <gasps> uh, Mama told me she wished for you to have the greatest ball Mayfair has ever seen. Oh. Money was the way to their hearts all along. <laughs> wow. From being a wallflower to being well, a, a wallflower host. who paid <laughs> paid for the party. A hosting wallflower. <laughs> I mean, I know this song too, but I don't. What song is it? Lights. <laughs> Ellie Golding? I think so. Yeah. Where is Colin? Support your wife, Colin. Come on, Colin. Your Majesty, forgive us, Your Majesty. We do not have a perch for you because we did not think you would accept our invitation. It is not your invitation that brings me here. Uh-oh. As a result of my tireless search, placing her in an impossible situation, I received a letter from Lady Whistledown. <gasps> oh my God. Colin, why are you not next to your wife? Yeah, where is he? She calls upon my mercy. Asking to address you all herself before I pass my judgment. So I turn the floor over now. To miss? To the scribe herself. <laughs> what the fuck? Not him. Apologies. <laughs> Her. What the f Is she taking it or is Portia gonna step up? Did she always know? I'm sure she put it together. Hello, or sh should I say, Dearest, Dearest gentle, gentle readers, reader. <laughs> I know it's a beautiful dress. it is no laughing matter gorgeous. what I have done. I never thought anyone would take my writing seriously. You know, go stand up there with her. Why should they? No one has ever taken any part of me seriously. Colin took a few parts seriously. <laughs> I only realize now how common that feeling must be to be a young lady to whom no one listens. I wrote about all of you because I was captivated by you. And in writing about all of you, I suddenly felt as if I had a life. Hmm. I had power, and for anyone who has ever had a taste of that, they should know it can be intoxicating. But I was careless with that power. But I see now how much courage it takes to live a life out in the open. Gossip is information. It forges bonds, especially to those of us who are told so little. That is why I am so very grateful to our queen for forcing me out of the shadows with her most cunning scheme. <laughs> she knows. Play the game. Let her win. If she affords me the chance to continue. I mean to aim my quill more responsibly. That is my repentance and my plea. Damn. Come on, come on, play the game. She doesn't want the game to end. You don't want it to end. <laughs> she seems humbled, but we will be watching that she remains so. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Right? Ah! <laughs> what a 
is life without a little gossip? What would you even do? Would you clap? Would you just be like, <laughs> I feel like I'd be I like, think I witnessed the yay. most insane moment in history. Come on, Colin. Go grab her. If Colin does not go out there I and know, dance right? with his goddamn wife. Now, Molly! The bugs! Ow. <laughs> Did she say the bugs? Oh, nice. There we go. Great job, guys. Colin, come on. Okay. Hey, where the hell are you, Colin? Come on. All right. Well, okay. That's a little disappointing. It's very disappointing. I didn't know there were going to be butterflies. Bugs. You are a genius. genius. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's the first time she's actually, like, because she usually calls her stupid. Oh. Her Majesty was close when she assumed Whistledown was a Bridgerton protecting their own. <laughs> but yep, she was like, I knew. There is only one person who loves the Bridgertons more than I. Oh. You knew it was me. You are not the only Lady of the Town who can keep a secret. Yeah, geez. Look at them. I look forward to your next edition. Yay. Colin, where the f are you? Like, where are you, Colin? Jesus. Could not have done that without your support. And the Queen's. Yes. We can now tell that solicitor your money came from my writing. <laughs> You'll have no recourse. Wow. Time for us to do better. That's essentially what I said. Colin, come on. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for your letter. I do not believe I've seen my mother so quickly shocked and also so quickly impressed. She'd tell everything to the mom. I believe she is proud of you. There is something I left out of that letter that I would not object to an annulment if you requested one. The Queen herself has accepted you. For now. Whistledown has upset many who will not soon forget. I have done everything I can to try to separate you from her. But the other day, I went back and read all of the letters you have sent me. Mm. You are her. You have always had one voice. There is no separating you from Whistledown. I just wasn't paying attention, like I do. <laughs> but that was bloody brilliant. <laughs> yes, it was. I think in truth, I have been envious of you. Of all your right. success. Okay. Ooh. Of your bravery. And now I simply cannot believe that a woman with such bravery loves me. How lucky I am to stand by your side and soak up even a little bit of your light. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. If my only purpose in life is to love a woman as great as you, then I will be a very fulfilled man indeed. I love you. Well, I love you. Cressida screwed though. <laughs> <laughs> Let me accompany you to Scotland. Uh, My mother would love the idea of cool. keeping an eye on you, but in truth, I simply wish to live for a little while outside our tiny bubble. You're the one that talks the most. I cannot change the world without seeing more of it. I promise you, I will give you your space. There you go. As long as you stay in your wing of the castle. <laughs> the castle? You're living in a proper castle. Eloise has asked to accompany us. That is wonderful news. <laughs> oh. And thankfully, my cousin has finally arrived to complete our travel party. Michaela Sterling. And you must be? I am. Um, well, I'm. Francesca Bridgerton. Kill Martin. Kill Martin is Ooh. my name now. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. She's gonna be gay. See, I told you the kiss. It didn't look like she felt anything. Holy crap. They're doing it, potentially. That's Francesca. That's Francesca. They were like, surprise. You can't always tell. My restraint comes from a place of joy. I did want one more sex scene. Good for them. <laughs> to all those who feel they have been wronged by this humble writer, my sincere Apologies. I don't care. She's got literal chains oh, in her hair. Only That's sad. The best. Francesca? Francesca. <gasps> you know, I wasn't saying it because I was like, no, I give up on them. It is time now to look toward the future, whatever it may bring. Will it bring your season? Who knows? Who freaking knows? I don't think Netflix does. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, Bridgerton Baby. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. There's so many of them. Featherington Babies. <laughs> oh. I still cannot she had the boy. believe you had a boy. Philomena will one day become a great writer without any mm. need of a husband. Well, it certainly runs Aww. in the family. If I cannot have written my book without the help of Philomena's auntie Penelope. Oh, <laughs> he's got a book. It is better than I expected. Are you old enough to read that? 
Yes. It is here. I got almost in the fence. Look at them. They're all just a big, oh happy goodness. Bridgerton Featherington baby. All Feather right. Of my Family. literary persona. I should like to formally introduce myself. What is it now? Bridgerton? Previous wallflower, current columnist, what does it say? observer. Does it say Lady Bridgerton? Wielder of a quill. And, and hopefully, hopefully, dear reader, oh. you will stay on to enjoy them with me. Bye, Julie Andrews. As we begin this yeah. next part of our journey. Thank you for being here today. Yours truly, Penelope Bridgerton. Oh. Well, damn! That, that felt like the end of a series. I know. What the <laughs> hell? hell? They stopped at that fourth episode and were like, oh, 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 oh. "Just you wait." <laughs> Honestly, that was that was worth the wait. That was awesome. I would say that I was hoping for the best, expecting to enjoy it, but I really, really enjoyed that. That was that was awesome. good. I. So now that I've seen all of it, knowing kind of that they were balancing a lot more things that I feel that this season was very good at paying off a lot of the threads that had been set up before, especially knowing now it's a different showrunner. I think the other seasons were more singularly minded. Mm -hmm. So it was like just focused on, on Daphne and, and, and Simon, just focused on Kate and Anthony and uh, Edwina. Edwina. Mm -hmm. And then of course, even Charlotte just focused on Charlotte and George. So comparing four episodes of this season, season to three previous seasons that had a different goal in mind. Yeah, I can understand where a lot of people's issues were, including yourself, where it's like, you're expecting Colin and Penelope, and this season wasn't as focused on just them together. Mm -hmm. So if that's what you're expecting out of this, I can understand. That's not exactly what you got. However, she was a different type of character than the, all those. She had so much more going for her, and I think the way that it weaved all of those things together to have her give her speech, mm -hmm. at the end, it felt very, like I felt rewarded watching Penelope's story. Oh, absolutely. Um, there were definitely some times, even in the end there, I'm like, Colin, where the hell are you? <laughs> I where know. are you, Colin? Like, I understand this is more Penelope's thing that she has to do, but come on. Yeah. Come on, get up here. For this season, for the way that they wrote it and the balance things, the way the showrunner did stuff, it made sense. But comparatively, we definitely had more time with the other male leads to watch them Process have more through. scenes together. And I, a lot of this stuff was solved with him walking off, contemplating in, in isolation. And then coming back and feeling different. I will say the second half felt a lot less like that to me. Like the first half did feel like he was kind of just, uh, I don't know, for the right. most of it. But then this one, I felt a little bit more of his conflicting feelings of he's proclaimed his love. He's acknowledged that he's in love. And now he's like, oh, but there's this thing that I don't like. I need to go off and think. But then he comes back and he's still like, uh, yeah. I like you. I just don't know how I feel about it. But then he had conversations with Antony and... Um, why was I going to say Michelle? <laughs> Kate got to see Penelope speak for herself. He was there for her through the whole thing, yeah. which I absolutely love that at no point was he like, I can't do this. So no, he was never going to do that. He was going to still marry Marina. He was still going to marry now, Marina. Now I believe that because when he said it in season one, I was like, <laughs> I was like, there's no proof of that. I have no reason. And now to we're believe. like, oh, he probably he was probably a man of his have. word. Yeah, yeah, he would have. Wow. So, so many other things happened, though. Forget Benedict being by. <laughs> Francesca? Francesca. I felt like when she was just so apathetic about marriage, originally I was like, is she gay? Is she a lesbian? But I was like, let me not because we've been saying that for so many characters. I'm just going to leave her alone. I'm just going to stop saying it because it's been three seasons. But then, yeah, that ending was very clearly... That truly shocked that me. Was, that was a surprise for sure. They got me. Yeah. And now I've got egg on my face. <laughs> A lot of other things I really liked. I just appreciate any scene with Lady Danbury and Violet. I liked how they went about it. I do think the actor who played her brother came across as very disingenuous. A lot of times he was always Aww. like, just kind of, hey, sister, <laughs> Violet, uh, I'm He's so natural. And I was like, all right. <laughs> He did have that air about him. The, Every time ah, he was like, ah, everything's fine. Did like, I take all the mirth from the room? Ha ha. That's, that's, Hello. But they're a very dramatic family, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's definitely, yeah, they got their- It's a Danbury blood. <laughs> you can't you can't escape it. They're just charismatic and you can't <laughs> Very help charismatic. It. I love that. And definitely we have the Mondricks. We still didn't find out about them. What the hell? Yeah. Did they even show so, up in this episode? 
I don't know. So hopefully, I guess we got to get another season because we got to find out about them. I'm assuming we're not done with Cressida. I'm assuming she's going to go no. off and maybe learn a lesson and come back. Maybe. Yeah. We were I surprised don't. she came back and learned anything in this season. Yeah, I know. I was like, okay. But now I'm about it. Now I'm like, okay. Now I want her to learn. Now I feel like she's like the Sharpay character where it's like she's, <laughs> she's like there. awful and she's the antagonist, but she's just a kid. Like, let's, let's teach her a lesson and bring her back. It's fine. I liked the show acknowledging that too. It's like, it, it, this is a fantasy show. I think it's so easy for us to sit here and watch and be like, well, I wouldn't have done that. Well, I wouldn't have done that. It's like, well, first off, your life is not being analyzed 24 yeah, seven. Uh, and these characters don't have Twitter mm -hmm. and the internet. I appreciate it in this fantasy world that they acknowledge like, hey, we've made shitty decisions. Also kind of like, the only hand we were dealt. This is what we got to deal with. You know, yeah. uh, we can make better ones. And I like that even Portia said, I mean, maybe there were better choices for me to make. I didn't see them then. I'm like, I honestly. I didn't see them then. I, that's the most honest and fair thing she said. I was dealt a shitty hand. Maybe I could have done I better. I could have done better, but I didn't know what to do. I, I was doing what I thought was but right. But I'll do better now. Yeah. And together. I was kind of nervous. I was like, if you reveal Lady Whistledown, where's the drama? There's going to be drama. Oh, yeah. There's like she said, we have enemies. And now that I'm out in the open now there's a target on all of our backs and they know exactly where to shoot even person to person when Cressida was acknowledging you're a Bridgerton your family supports you not even just being a Bridgerton yep. you have a family that supports you mine does not Ugh. like even person to person it's so different we all come from different places including Portia who is like ah, I was doing what I thought I, I did the best <laughs> and you know what look, look around look at it. looks look like at it, it fucking worked out huh Looks like old Portia Featherington made some good goddamn decisions. Look at that. Done. Not to Amazing. justify if you have a toxic mother or parents in your life. Obviously, it's a modern day. They should know better. Yeah, no. But, but back then, for the show, <laughs> for the show's sake, it worked out. We're glad about it. We appreciate Portia. We respect her. Characters can learn and get better. And it looks like she's learning and getting better. And that's the main thing is it was very at first airy like, oh, yes. Oh, she's finally marrying a Bridgerton. Now I like her. And then no. we got to the more serious parts of no, like I, you're a lot like me. And, you and know, that's I true because she be tried safe. marrying. She didn't marry. She couldn't marry for love. Yeah. She married for security. For security. That and didn't he wasn't work out. Secure. Uh, so it's like, can I blame her? No, girl, mm -mm. girl got her bag. Girl got bags she for got all her three bag. of her. her I know little... she got all them bags. I liked uh, it. That was yeah. a good season. That was great. I that was really. A, that was a lot of fun. I think it came together very well. It did. There yeah. was a lot of twists and turns. I'm happy. I liked the confrontation. I liked that Penelope came out and spoke her truth. I appreciated that Danbury was able to talk some sense to the queen. Cause I definitely a few times when she was like, I have to find her was like, why you're having so much fun. Yeah, like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Like you're trying you're to end the party early. Yeah. You're having a great time. Uh, Violet is going to get her love. Hopefully. Hopefully. So Violet, hopefully <laughs> it's pretty good. So hopefully everybody gets, everybody gets their person. <laughs> That's, uh, I think, Rizzo's audition for season Bridgerton. four, Bridgerton. <laughs> I would love to be considered for <laughs> Mr. Bridgerton. Hey! Benedict, if, there he, is, if he's if he's open. There's, he's, he hey, is now. I'm here. That was a pipe Bridget dream a nice. few years ago, and now it could be a reality. It could be a reality. So, you know, maybe 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 we send this to Shonda. Maybe we, maybe we say, <laughs> hey, I've got a great, the Bridgertons like blacks. They I do. Got, I've got they a, do. I've got a great black guy even, for you. Even, even Francesca, she, <laughs> she said, I couldn't settle with just one black man. <laughs> they like the black people. Wow. So I love it. Right here. That was fun, y'all. I'm glad we got to watch this with you guys. All these reactions are available on Patreon for $5. We've got more things coming up. We're going to try to stick in this little Regency era for the time being. We've been enjoying all the Pride and Prejudices. Prejudice, prejudice. Prejudice that we've been watching. Maybe we'll throw in a little uh, Cinderella story. Who knows? Obviously, two years for Bridgerton is going to be a long wait, yeah. but we'll be there for you when the day comes. And we'll be there between. Until then, yes, we just will. watching other stuff. So hop in, watch with us. Let us know what else to watch. And until next time, I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. Sweet dreams, pop stars. Keep watching. Keep watching.